Thank you for coming. And my name is Daniel, and my prayers are answered. You've come. Thank you. I need someone watching my videos sometime. I make enough of them. <laughs> Undisputably, there's never been any person in YouTube history that's made as many faith-based videos as I have already. In a year and a half, I've got 6,500 already. It is the Latter-day Mountain of Isaiah 2, wrought by he who is the Elijah foretold, the Latter-day Daniel. That's my name. Call me Dan, Daniel, Danny. Don't call me late for dinner. But I've learned in this world, Murphy's Law is real too. If it can go wrong, it will, it does. But praise God, the shattering of the power of the holy people will come from my efforts, Daniel 12 time, because God's word has only been closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9 says so and predicted this. So these are the days of our dove of love coming forth as the most regal eagle of the eon. And we just need to let him rest on our arms. And we gotta be like a falconer and go out hunting now against lovelessness and to bring it down because we need to get love moving in this world. So these are the days for the reading of the dove's word of ignorance and those who readeth it it's time to run Habakkuk 2 2 because the writing has been foretold line by line precept by precept would the strong and mighty one come as a destroying storm tearing down by the appointment of Jeremiah 1 10 Haggai 2 2 that God wants to tear down all kingdoms of man's distortionality uh, and understandings that are not based on his unconditional love alone so praise the Lord evermore. And it's time to uh, embrace the truest truths. And uh, know that at this point, I've been preaching a year and a half, two more years to go, because after a time, times, and half a time, three and a half years in the day of the Latter-day Daniel giving this message with God's word being opened again uh, at the end, that will, then will come the shattering of the power of the holy people. The prophetess Baba Vanga foretold that all religion on earth will collapse and instead taking its place will arise uh, instead of unloving religiosity that won't even uh, listen to any truth um, that in its place would arise a loving spirituality and all over the circle of earth it would be like a, a oceans of uh, lilies of the valley and rose of Sharon all over the world and so praise God it's kingdom age time and know that there's segments of leadership have already rejected the, the holy message at this kingdom age channel people like Alan Parr of the beat uh, and I, I like his stuff and I like I like him I like a lot of people I like David Wood they don't like me David has nothing to say to me because uh, for uh, the apologist uh, the best one that Islam has ever had, an uh, Islamic apologist, uh, da poor David Wood, he has no recourse with me because if he says anything about me, he's spitting in Christ's face because I'm preaching the Kingdom Age New Covenant. And uh, no one has the spiritual uh, to, to, to say anything bad. I get no comments whatsoever at this channel. So know that um, people like Alan Parr say, Tune the guy out. Don't listen to him. Uh, and that, that is exactly why it is foretold in Isaiah 49, uh, for that I would do everything in vain, it being ignored, just as Isaiah 41 foretold. But the day is coming soon when the rest of the world will realize that I've been right about everything that I've been preaching, uh, because this has been taught since the beginning. Isaiah 41 says that. And I am the one from the north, Canada, uh, who has the message of the kingdom age, understandings of prophecy. God has made a way where it seemed to have been no way. So praise God that uh, uh, it's time that uh, not so silent curses uh, are being absorbed by ignorant mixed up leaders if they will not embrace truth. And the truth is that such brainwashed souls, they don't even want to know anything more about the reality that our Lord God is still speaking through mankind, at, through his chosen people. But the days have finally come forth and are even now here 
when the faithful don't even want to have any faith within any new truths, even if it was prophesied. They don't have no discernment to understand anything, nor do they have any patience. They disobey the Bible of things concerning prophecy. All that is good must be embraced, and it must all be inspected most carefully. People can not and will not even listen to nothing. They're totally brain-dead zombies standing in the land of the walking dead. And know that spiritual integrity is now a forgotten w word in this world, in this age of the grossest kind of gross darkness. And uh, so it's time that we move a around and it's time that we forsake the ways of ignorance because God's people have al always been destroyed by their lack of knowledge. And if people will not listen to me, this world will be toast. Uh, there'll be no birds, no la no 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 birds, no fish. All fish will be dead, and all mankind's F and I one one. So the curse has to be reversed, and only an understanding of love will do that. And you will have all the, your shame and guilt removed from all people of the world that come upon this latter day mountain of food uh, of Isaiah 25. Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away, Christ asked. And I am that guy. I'm the writer of his everlasting gospel and the flying scroll. Line by line, precept by precept, the strong and mighty one. It's time to pull down all distortionality, just as Isaiah 25 foretold. So come to the great mountain of food. Uh, spiritual delicacies are awaiting you only at this channel alone. Bye now.